In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everybody. You are all welcome to Mass. Let us offer this Mass for Oliver Trainer and Matthew and Catherine McBride, whose anniversaries occur at this time. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and may those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. You object, what the Lord does is unjust. Listen, you house of Israel, is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright man renounces his integrity to commit sin and dies because of this, he dies because of the evil that he himself has committed. When the sinner renounces sin to become law-abiding and honest, he deserves to live. He has chosen to renounce all his previous sins. He shall certainly live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam. Response. Remember your mercy, Lord. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Saviour. Response. Remember your, mercy, Lord. remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth. In your love, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Response. Remember your mercy, Lord. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Response. Second reading, a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippines. If our life in Christ means anything to you, if love can persuade at all, or the spirit that we have in common, or any tenderness and sympathy, then be united in your convictions and unified in your love. 
with a common purpose and a common mind. That is the one thing which would make me completely happy. There must be no competition among you, no conceit, but everybody is to be self-effacing. Always consider the other person to be better than yourself, so that nobody thinks of his own interests first, but everybody thinks of other people's interests instead. In your minds, you must be the same as Christ Jesus. His state was divine, yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave, and became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens on earth and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He went and said to the first, My boy, you go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not go. But afterwards thought better of it and went. The man then went and said the same thing to the second who answered, Certainly, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the fathers will? The first they said, Jesus said to them, I tell you solemnly, tax collectors and prostitutes are making their way into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you, a pattern of true righteousness, but you did not believe him and that the tax collectors and, pros and prostitutes did, even after seeing that you refused to think better of it and believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> During the recent lockdown due to the COVID-19, Many people found themselves turning to nature. There was a surge of interest in gardening. We tended to flower beds, planted seeds, started herb gardens. Lots of people commented that they noticed the birds singing for the first time in years. In the midst of challenging times, we found ourselves turning into the wonder of God's creation all around us. As life begins to return to new normal, can we retain this sense of wonder and awe? In this season of creation, we are invited to discover the presence of God in creation, to give thanks for the gift of the earth, and to change our ways so that we may live in harmony with creation. This requires us to be constantly conscious of how we are living, not just to have good intentions, but to follow through in our actions. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells the parable of the two sons who are asked to go and work in their father's vineyard. The first son initially refuses, but then thinks better of it and gets, and gets to work. While the second son has good intentions, he does not follow through. When it comes to caring for the earth, good intentions are not enough. Our actions matter. We may have been careless in the past, but a change of heart is happening right across our society. 
it all starts with our actions as individuals and communities as we emerge from as we emerge from a challenging few months let us use the season of creation to reflect on how we can do better to reconnect with god's beautiful creation and do all we can to love and preserve it for francis in in his encyclical letter laudato si said teach us to discover the work of each thing to be filled with awe and contemplation to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light let us make the profession of our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified and as pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen encouraged by the word of christ we pray for the courage to be led by his example and confidently bring our prayers to him in today's gospel jesus made it clear that we are judged by our actions rather than by our words we pray that we may show our faith and love of christ by being generous and unselfish on behalf of others particularly the poor the homeless and the marginalized lord hear us lord graciously hear us we pray for a greater sharing of the wealth of the world so that those suffering from poverty and hunger may also enjoy the fruits bestowed on us by our loving father lord hear us lord graciously hear us We pray for refugees and all those who flee war, hunger and poverty that they may travel safely and be received generously by those who are blessed with peace, prosperity and a better life. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those who have suffered the trauma of abuse. May they experience healings in their lives and grow in self-esteem and confidence in others. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those with the responsibility of protecting our children and vulnerable adults. We pray that they have the full support of government, church and community in their most important mission. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We pray with Pope Francis for international cooperation and an effective response to the COVID-19 pandemic and for a common effort to find vaccines and extend their benefits to all. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We bow our heads and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. We remember and pray for Oliver Trainer, Matthew and Catherine McBride, for whom this mass has been offered, that they may have a share in the promised hope of eternal love. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Let us pray through the intercession of Mary, our heavenly mother, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen heavenly father we give you thanks for your guidance and everlasting love we make our prayer through christ our lord amen mr lord for the whole creation for through your goodness
hands we have safe product we go for you so talk to your friend for for human hands it will be come for us the bread dog life plus a people for our brother brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father grant us o merciful god that this our offering may find accept find acceptance with you and that through and that through it the well spring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The Mystery of Faith
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Amen and Michael our bishops and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Oliver Trainer and Matthew and Catherine McBride, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, Saint Bridget, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it down and I pray so receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please please keep in your prayers father bernard hughes who is very sick let us pray may this heavenly mystery o oh lord restore us in mind and body that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death who lives and reigns forever and ever the lord be with you may the blessing of almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever amen our mass is ended let us go in the peace of christ <laughs>